that's third. Hi, it's Hazy, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to make a snippet roll. Now, I've prepared this. I'll show you. I've already started it. Well, this is plugging. Okay, see it? Like, do, do, do. <laughs> right. So, what it is is just put in scraps, things you might have used. I think. I think it's the best of you. Things you might have used in your journals already. There's little scrap bits on uh, that you can just shove in shove shove in, shove in <laughs> pages right i'm going to show you what it looks like on a page because i've started half of it and it looked so nice i don't know if it's that one i put it on actually although that's not one i'm going would be able to put it on wait a minute it might be oh that would be nice actually if i've got something like that on something like this it would because I've got this section of red, you can do it what colours you like, but obviously you can usually mix it up. Now, I'm not sure if that's that way, it must be that way. It's got to be that way. So imagine that on the side of a page, or something like that. Okay, so when you've finished, we tend to do a um, stitch. Stitch two sides along there to seal it. I've even used some Nuovo drops on it. <laughs> Well, I used it on there, but it there's a massive blob, so I just mixed it in. See that, yeah. <laughs> that thing is so shining up, can't you? Yeah, so I need to even put some more over. I assume my machine will go through that. Oh, I've got to be careful of the cat there, so I'm going to go probably round the cat and the girl there. The girl should have a cat, but she's got a cat in there, yeah. So, anyway, this is the sort of thing you do. So, I'm going to continue with that. Let me show you things I've already made. But that's the sort of thing I think that looks absolutely amazing. It's the sort of thing I haven't it wasn't this, but it's this sort of thing I made. And you can make it on tape. You can put actually tape down and put it on tape. But I've made it on book page and I'm just sticking it down with glue. Book page, it's not a cookery book. I've uh, decided that uh, it's ever such, such a weird recipe. Sort of thing I would never ever cook but apparently there was uh, my son went somewhere my autistic one and he went somewhere and this, people were getting rid of things and he brought that home and said did i want it <laughs> and i thought no <laughs> so it's been hanging about and then i thought yeah that's it it's going to go to a bookshop but now i've decided i want to use it for my imagine you can use things like this as well you've got like punched out pieces now you've seen me use this in torn art it's basically the same sort of thing. How relaxing is that? So you could basically put things there. You could use that as a feature. You can probably put, it might be better with that underneath actually, if I've, if I've had another butterfly. I have. <laughs> I can easily get butterflies. Because I'm also going to use, purposefully, I put my punches. Yes, I've got the dog, if you can hear the dog. You can use punched out pieces. Here's a nice big, you can use things like that as well. So if you had a, I'd probably a bit with a blue one, but you could put that, I don't know. <laughs> you could put that behind. It, it's really up to you what you do. It's really good. Such fun. How about something like that? I haven't glued that down. I was going to get a blue butterfly, wasn't I? So I use this. I quite like the shape of this butterfly on this um one yeah it's the same as that so yeah you can ink things up as well if you like i, I have been doing oh i've got the dog there what are you doing oh hey buddy oh that's so cute i don't know why i after a blue butterfly when i've already got one <laughs> i think my idea was just to show you <laughs> uh, that probably look better underneath like that that was the only that was the only thing I was thinking. Anyway, um was this as well. I do like this. This is all the similar colours. Yeah, so you can port, you can even tear this up if you like. You can tear things up um bits, you know, you've got a spare bit, you've got a bit of this, you've got a bit of that. That can also go in the mix. It's basically putting things in the mix, isn't it? And you could also miss gaps out and start here. And then fill those in, which I think is quite a good idea. Right, I bought a load of 
papery bits down. I mean, some are digitals that I bought from somebody else. Well, that's quite nice look as well. So that's sort of going through my blue face. So you could just basically rip pieces off and put them on from pictures and I say digitals like that and that's just basically a digital so put, that might fit somewhere in fact you could put that on and then cover it up with things because that's like a backgroundy bit as well as sort of having the book page for a background I put that down there like that and um, as you've got if you're using tape underneath you can put um, just stick that on like that it's fun it's fun it's all fun okay got a butterfly there <laughs> why not let's have that butterfly there yes oh it's got red oh yeah, it's the one with the red i did red the other side so you can put it on there like that i could tear this down that's falling over make a nice different shape out of it and put that on say down here and something like that it's really fun it's just fun doing this you just shove it on show it on slap it on all over <laughs> right there we go um or that i think that probably would be better like that and then uh let's see what else we've got i've got some cats i think I don't know what colors they are though I've got that as well. That's one, one of my marbling papers. I don't know what that, that looks a bit odd. I've not noticed that bit before. It looks different to all the rest. <laughs> yeah, but it must be just part of the design. And I've got things like this. Cat there lock. So you can put the cat on. Um, what's I got? Because I don't forget I've got cat journal. If you're wondering why I'm putting cats on. <laughs> all right, I've got a cat journal here. So yes, he's got his going to be mischief let's have a look see if that fits on there it might not do if not i'm going to put him a bit further along try not to sew over his head yeah that can go more with the orange you can't i'm just i don't know why i'm changing colors as i go along first bit was pink which goes really well in my journal with the oh i don't want to put it no i don't need it up there really do i still I might do it. Oh dear. I suppose you could put string on as well. <laughs> string wants to join in. Look. I'll put him under that or there. Or slightly. I like it on top. Yeah. I don't know which bit now is going to go where. But I do like that slightly on top of that. I might not stick it. Try not to stick it down there. Put something under it. Okay. What else we got? a couple of flowers I mean I'm inking them up but you don't have to I haven't seen other people ink them up but I think they look nice inked up like that oh I can do what I like it's my it's my snippet roll <laughs> yes you can do what you like it's your snippet roll so don't take no notice of anybody else so um, you don't take any notice do what they think it's up to you it's up to me what I do, so right, okay, so I'm coming along there with that. I'm gonna put some of this on. Some of it looks fairly orange, doesn't it? At this bit here. So I'm going to be, put that on there like that. I'm gonna give it an ink up. Look, what do I want? Because I want to. I want to give that a bit of an ink round. Takes longer, but okay, so I'm putting that on top of there and on top of there and put it round my butterfly a bit like that <laughs> i've got to that up now there we go oh nearly there we go i'm going to going to leave that open a bit actually because it's got a bit of a gap i don't have to fill it in if i don't want to right okay let's put that i'm try and put that bit there actually don't know what I'm doing, how I'm doing it yet, but I'm going to try and put that bit on there. Um, let's see it here, the dog, the dog's around me at the moment. What are you doing? Nicky Nicks. Nicky Nicky Nicks. Like that, like that. Oops, just 
than that. So I'm going to come along and <laughs> sew it later. Yeah, so it's like I thought I wouldn't do a whole one on because if you do a whole one on video, it would take hours and hours. Although I suppose I could do a time lapse. <laughs> that would be fun, wouldn't it? Um, okay, so I'm coming along to the orange now. Let's see if we've got any more. That sort of pinky orangey colour. What are you sniffing? <laughs> There's a few loud sniffs going on down here. <laughs> it's quite funny. <laughs> oh, I love the way I love the way a dog sniffs under the door. He doesn't do it as so much as dramatically as the Labradors we used to have do. So funny they were. They used to. <laughs> he does it a bit. So if they wanted to know who was in the bathroom, we've gone in order to, to just we had just a toilet on its own um, in our old house, and the dogs used to. Under the door, <laughs> he laughed. He was hilarious. He used to make us laugh. See, perhaps to see who was in there, <laughs> and not to see what they were doing. What they were doing, but <laughs> to see who were in there. <laughs> well, who's that in there? <laughs> That's about basically the sort of thing they were doing. It's so funny. Yeah. Let's see what else I can put. I don't. I'm not. I don't know why. I mean, I did print this out, but I'm not. <laughs> I don't see the point of that, really. But, I mean, I did print it out. Probably, I don't know why I printed it out. But it's not a sort of ideal... I don't think it's an ideal situation. Sort of like already putting things in your pocket. But um, I'm going to take that off. I'm going to take that little flower in me as well. And let's put that in there. Uh, yep, and oh, I've got another cat next to a cat by the looks of it, unless I move him along a bit. I don't, want to, don't really want a cat on a cat. Do we want too many cats together? I'm going to put that one there. I'm just going to put a strip of glue down there in case I decide to. You see that? I can't, I can't tell. Oh, yeah, I've got it quite high, haven't I? I've got this quite high. Yeah, I can't see my knees. Can you? <laughs> I hate it when you can see my knees. <laughs> And you can't see the table. <laughs> Had that before. Right, okay. Um Yeah, we're coming into a bit of a floral florally bit, aren't we? Right. Uh let's see if I've got anything else on. Because it's more like the other people have done now and it's before it's stuff that I've done. You can make them with material if you didn't know that one. That's something of mine. Yeah, you can put little bits of snippets of material. So if you've got little snippets of material left over, you can always use that. Yeah. So, but I've using a, I'm doing a paper one just for because I haven't got that much. Uh, well, I've got loads of material, but I don't know. <laughs> I haven't got any um, desire to make one at the moment. Right, let's get this done over here. We're going back into pink again. So let's ink this. Okay, like this. I'm just going to say it's a very bad, very, very, very rainy day today. Yeah, so a bit, um, yeah, not my type of day. <laughs> I prefer a bit of sunshine, whatever time of year it is, and um, you know, take dog out, <laughs> things like that. I mean, I've got uh, Nico to take out later, haven't we? Well, we can put one of those on. Lord, I can't remember what I did that for. It was probably for, um, yeah, it's probably for something I did in one of the last le last videos. We can put that on there. That can go on there, no problem. I think I've got one there already inked up as well. And oh, I'll just put it on the back. And I've got some stars inked up. Yeah, that's sort of disguising the fact that it was hidden behind things as well. Right then, let's carry on. 
What else can we use? Yeah, so you could sort of rip things like that. That's double sided, but <laughs> you could still take it apart. And I'm doing a bit of a mix between pink and green at the bottom here. I'm going to make it like that. Oh, I've been using labels as well, haven't I? So I've been using a lot of labels. I don't know where I've put them. I've got lots of scraps behind me. I don't know if I've got any in there. Um, so that can come under. It will. It will go under there. It won't go on top. It won't go under. But I'm sure it will look fine when, when it's all done. When you put it in your page or what you're using it for. You can use your imagination to use it for what you like. Oh, that one would be nice, wouldn't that? I was going to use this for something else. This gave me an idea for another video, but I might I haven't done that one yet. <laughs> I've got it written down. Oh, look at that. That's really pretty, that is, isn't it? That, put that somewhere, definitely. Let's put it down the middle in case I want to tuck anything underneath. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Yeah, this is a sort of thing. I don't mean this. I meant, I meant things like um, Tracy Fox labels, but I found this. And these are orangey, aren't they? So they would go with this end. Be happy, be bright, be you. It's like a pot. It's just like a... So this is like... Oh, oh perhaps I've got to lift that up a bit because that's not... I want to put that on top. Uh, oh, yeah, this is going to put in onto this. Oh, I've got a bright piece of... Oh, I should perhaps shove that bit down as well. Good thing about things like this, you can do what on earth you like. That's you don't have to take any notice of anybody else. If you want to do it, you do it. Right, if anybody says it's wrong, that's wrong. It isn't wrong. Because you wanted to do it. <laughs> I love it. Right, so if anybody tells me that's wrong, it isn't wrong. <laughs> I love that expression. That's wrong. Yeah, like they did at school. Oh, you shouldn't be doing that. you got to do it this way. Yeah, you don't be creative by doing it that way. You be creative by doing your own way. Right. Um, let's have a look. Okay, look, I'm getting going quite well, aren't I, really? Look, it's done really fast. Okay, so let's get some of it. Got it open so I've got a night so I can put other things under there. Um, that's a pinky one. So again, I'm going into all colours at the moment on this section. I'm about covering up the flowers and putting that there. <laughs> no, oh, we can put it there. Look, I think that'd be nice. That went a bit. This is very weird. A very very weird. It shouldn't have. It should have been more like that, but it went really bright. I think that I don't know what how it did that. Whoops, hold on. Oh, it wants to be there. No, we can't put it there because that'll be you'll be covering up. You'll be covering up that saying if you go there. So we're going to put you there. Look, okay. Um, I love that. I'm going to put some more of that. I should have put some more of that along there, shouldn't I? It's going to be both sides though. I don't want that. Um, no, that's got more of that. Um, how about so? No, that's oh, confusing, right? No, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be picky. No, we're not being picky, are we? We're not being, not saying, um, we're not doing this, we're not doing that. We're going to do it, we're going to do things. We've also got perfect there, that word. I'm going to use that. Which is obviously brilliant for my journal. I'm going to use a lot of this in my journal, I think. 
my cat journal so you do things like it's appropriate to you i don't have to take any notes what i'm doing you've got you've got your own ideas don't think you just because i do this you have to you know follow me i mean if you want to make a cat journal that's brilliant <laughs> if i've given you some ideas for that that's brilliant but um so i could even put that down there for once because that could extend that i'm going to do it you've got mischief there well part of mischief uh top it's quite thin paper um there we go be perfect be bright be happy be you perfect <laughs> okay um let's do some other things did find that weird little piece of paper oh i know it just if i can get the glue i've got glue on my hands so it's everywhere Dog looking my leg. What have you found to look on that? I don't know. <laughs> what are you looking me for? Okay, I've just got that little bit to finish. And um okay. A little bit of colour in the okay. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to cut that in. I'm going to cut a bit off that. Okay, you've got this here like that. Right, there's, um, there's, oh, let's put that on there. Uh, but we'll put it perhaps up there, can't we, like that. Uh, oops. I'll put that, I'll leave that under there. Uh, another pick. Mm. Oh, do like this little pattern here. So that's out of a, it could be out of a, even a um, 12 by 12 paper, anything, can't it? You've got some of that there. So that can go up there. I'm going to try and put that high up. I'm going to glue that down though. What are you doing, dog? You're exploring. Oh, yeah. And I think those pieces of paper are exploring as well. <laughs> They're all falling on me. Right. Okay. And there. That goes there. Um, I fancy putting that on there as well. That's part of that. I'm not gonna. I don't know if I need to ink it up. Don't have to ink it up everything, do you? Right. Shillings. There we go. How about that bit of string again? I say you can include things like string. Um, let's have a look. So we've got just that little bit left. I could put something under there. And that's the same as that. Um, oh, 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 oh. Um, um, um. We've got these as well. These are probably supposed to be journaling card things. Oh, I like those. I like those little flowers. They're really pretty. I could might be able to, might have to tear that. Oh, let's get those. Ooh, let's have a look. How about oh, oh, like it, like it, like it. I'm going to ink that up as well, like this. And and that. I love those. They're so pretty. So that's the digital. Um, something to do with the cats. I got off Etsy. I can't remember what you called it. Right, so there's that, and then, oh, do we need a bit there? Shall we just put a bit of that there? I'm going to, what I'm going to do as well is just try, <laughs> hopefully, attempt to sew it, and if there's, hopefully there's enough stuff in my, I know that's quite fat. 
compared with this here so I might need to put a bit up there perhaps even I suppose you could even glue it on behind <laughs> you could even glue it on behind if you wanted like a cheat look glue it on behind why not because it's going to be if you're going to sew it it's going to all come together anyway and you're going to just basically that's trying to join in no not now uh and um so i'm just going to glue that and put it behind like that look there you go you can put that behind no reason why not I don't see any reason why not because it's going to be going to glue together and it's just going basically going to be stuck down on a page anyway where on earth you like um i was going to put that somewhere um, no, I want to put down the cap there. No, that's got that. We can't put it on that. And down there. There's a bit there, look. It's a bit behind it. So I'm going to stick that behind. Upside down. Or sideways. <laughs> I don't think so because I mean it, it's it doesn't really matter if it's upside down or sideways because obviously that's good if you remember when I would when I was doing that I think that I tried to get the cap the right way around I think that one was upside down though so I tried to get the cap the right way around although that has got a cat on it uh, let's think what else we can do, do. Um, had some lovely comments today again from the regulars thanks very much uh, right there are five <laughs> five regulars let's see if i can think of your names deborah merich oh that was interesting from yorktown virginia because she was talking about um well she says where she where she comes from and obviously i've been to virginia when i when i was um a child with a school I went to school in there for a month and it was absolutely brilliant and obviously I, and, and I looked it up on the map and I thought oh I've been to Williamsburg and Jamestown all things that are listed on them on the um on Google Earth that I was looking up and also let's think who else said hello to me today I usually get Teresa Babinat lovely thank you and Oh, who was it today? There was five. There's Beverly. I think it's Beverly Nielsen. Yes, Beverly Nielsen. Um, that was one of the later ones on ad. Yeah, I can't remember. The oh, the usual ones. Um, can you tell I'm not brilliant at names? <laughs> but I absolutely really appreciate all your comments. And it's lovely to hear from you. Um they're saying they like my um what's the name um time lapse that's it time lapse uh video that was that i put up today because i put up a time lapse on tuesday i don't know if it's going to continue but it seems to be more a lot more popular than the one they did last week which was good and then i've got to put some more of this one down i love this one i want a cat really <laughs> oh there's one let's get the other cat and um let's think who else what it was See, i'm thinking of, i'm not looking at anything to, to to remember i'm just thinking about what um who it was who said hello to me i'll pick myself when i get that so i know it's Teresa. i know it was beverly deborah um come on I know Sherry usually says hello, but I don't know if it was Sherry today. Um, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, it might have been. <laughs> um, let's think who else may have said hello. I'm trying to get him in a bit further like that. Oh yeah, I was going to put this on, wasn't I? That goes really well with that. And... Um, It 
is killing me. I'm going to do some sewing in a minute and thinking about what who it was. Because I've got to remember. Because it was so lovely to hear from you as well. I was having a conversation with somebody. It was <laughs> it might have been I know I had a conversation with um Deborah. Um that's it. Oh, I know I often get comments from Lou as well, that's good. Um Oh this little last bit. Oh I never got that's gonna slide off the table. I was just thinking, do I put that one there? Just to get rid of that bit. And we could have that one at the end, couldn't we? Then we can go to the sewing machine and we could print print. Print it. Oh, that's unusual. Um actually sew it. So then I don't know what colour I've got. I'm gonna use whatever and no, it's in the machine. It might be green actually. Think about it. I usually often have green in. I don't know why, but I do. I'm gonna put some glue on this bit. So it definitely glues on there. Might need a bit more on there. There we go. Okay then, so look at this. Oops. So I'm going to close you down for a minute. You probably won't think, well, she, she hasn't been away. What's she talking about? I haven't been away. I'm not going away. I'm just going to think about what, what who's had a low to me. <laughs> Things like that. I'm going to put a bit of book page there, I think, to cover that gap. I've got a book page there, but that's, that's you know, that's the, but there's nothing on that bit. And I'm going to put a bit of book page there. Look. Had a bit of interest there, and I'm going to get glue all over my stitching. <laughs> okay, so wherever just to put the pin, I've just seen it. Oh, it's there. It's right in front of my eyes. Okay, so I'm going to come back in a minute then. Hopefully, I'll just think I thought of all the other people who was. Have... Right then, so look what I've done. They've done the stitching. I told you it was green. Oh, I knew it would be. Tried not to get on. Tried not to get the cat's faces, and it'd been more ideal if they'd been down there, wouldn't it? <laughs> My lord, oh dear. Right, so um, so this is really help, really, really good. And so what you'd do with this is obviously, as I showed you at the beginning, is to cut it off somewhere and stick it on a page. I think that'll look amazing. In fact, shall we do that? Shall we do that? Because I've got that. I've got a space for this, haven't I? This bit. Right. So, oh, yes. And I forgot to do. Guess what I did at the beginning? Look. I forgot to show you that. I've put bits of washi tape on. So you could also stick bits of washi tape on as well. If you like. So that's fun. That was fun doing that. Because I've got. Oh, I don't want to put, put the washi tape in here. I was doing that upstairs. And I've got some washi tape in the back. Well, it's there on the windowsill. So I could have done that. Um, oh, they're the flowers I did the other day. And we saw that video. There they are, look. They were so much fun. I haven't finished that one off yet. I still haven't found the other one of those. That I made on video. <laughs> right. Um, let's have a look. Where are we? Um... I suppose you could strengthen that page by putting that on there because it would actually help strengthen the pages as well or that one oh but there look and i'm having it that way around um there no oh i don't know it look, quite goes with the dark red that's a print of a jelly press print oh that one oh do we have it on that one to begin with? We did, didn't we? You could have them obviously this way around if you like. But I'm not going to do that. I'm having it that way. Um, completely contrast. <laughs> yeah, so we'll have it... Um, I think I'm going to have it there to try and, and an attempt to strengthen that page. Okay. Oh, can you see that? Oh, gosh. I didn't realise. <laughs> there was a lady. I saw she did a video 
about four years ago well, i can't watch video it was now playing cards and things i think it was and she was she'd marked her page out so she knew where to go it's like with with tape and i thought well, that's a good idea <laughs> i perhaps should do that myself right but i haven't yet <laughs> right so let's now is this the one that no it isn't one this is what's on the back this is my cookery type book I'm just going to what I'm going to do is glue in the middle basically because I know that's going to definitely go on to the uh, page. Um, so basically, this is like a snippet roll and how to use it. <laughs> so, this is I'm just basically showing you can do what you like with them, I think. There's other things you can obviously do as well. We can make the, the material ones can go round journals, you can use that as a a band to go round a journal if you've got some sort of a uh, idea to close it perhaps or well, perhaps you could even tie it i don't know depends on what it's like anyway that's helped hopefully help that i'm going to screw that bit down as well there and this you could perhaps even leave it like oh yes and that's another one you can use them for of course that's going to be a page edger. I thought that would strengthen that page. You can, of course, use them as belly bands. They would that would make great strength. So I'd make perhaps cut that off there and use it as a belly band. And um, other things, obviously, you can make them into a pocket as well. Brilliant. That would be brilliant. Just glue along that. That would glue along there or something like that, and then just leave that because that. That'd be fine as a pocket, wouldn't it? You got a little because you sort of like wouldn't know what which thing. It's sort of like hidden things. You could hide things. <laughs> is that part of that, or is it something that can pull out? That'd be good. Um, what else could you use it for? Um, your front of your journal. You could put something on the front of your journal with it. In fact, that might be an idea for me because I haven't got anything at the front um yes yeah, so i could put even use it as a pocket inside my front of my journal lot as well that'd be nice well not the same bit obviously <laughs> but that would be that would be nice on a journal if you've got an idea for that that way around if it would go that way around that one would that would go that way around you put it on the edge all these ideas you see that would look nice like that with i would think perhaps with something even with a picture or something there and something along there and then you've got this idea for a picture perhaps that would be good so you could do all sorts with these and um, this is the first time i've ever made one <laughs> yeah i come up with these ideas and um come up with ideas to do it use them even though i've never used one before but it would look quite nice there as well actually perhaps with something here it would look really nice as it well perhaps you, even as a tuck there you could tuck no in a in, on a page you could put tuck something in as well that'd be really nice i might do that as well with this i think i'm going to um perhaps it'd be better that way around because that's more flat and then tuck things in there yeah hmm yeah belly band i say belly band took took spot um embellishment as i've done on my page strengthen the page that's for that was my idea for that one uh you know all this so i hope you do like my content um i've just watched, wondered if i'm recording then i am <laughs> I thought, i'm a recording i can't remember switching it on this is a good thing. Good thing sometimes when you can't remember things because you have a nice surprise, but other times when you can't remember things. Uh, yeah. That's not good. Right. Okay. Well, it's a nice surprise that we're still recording. Anyway, as I was saying, if you like if you like my content, please give me a thumbs up. Please press the notification bell with your crafty fingers. Please share my video and please subscribe to my channel thank you it's made that suitably heavy now <laughs> thank you thank you for watching okay bye oh before i go 
uh, I think I remember the other one was Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> thank you, Jamie, for your comment today. Yes, I did remember that one. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you all, all, all you four for your comments. Thank you so much. Bye.